My name is Noelle Turner. I am a clinical psychologist. I have a doctorate in psychology or a PsyD that I got from Indiana University of Pennsylvania. I also have a Bachelor of Science in Psychology. Um, I did my first two years at Black Hawk Community College in Illinois. And then I did the next two years at a private institution, private Catholic school, St. Ambrose University in Iowa as well. And overall, my entire education cost me about $212,950 some odd dollars. <laughs> Uh, so at my community college, the tuition was covered, but books weren't. And they were like, here, take this financial aid. And I was like, great. It's like free money because I was not fiscally wise. I was 21 years old. I just got out of the Marine Corps. I didn't have a dime to my name because I'd spent all that. No one ever... My parents never really taught me how to budget. When I left my undergrad, I had about $45,000 in student loan debt. But I wasn't thinking about the fact that it was gonna, it was gonna accrue interest for the next seven years while I was in grad school, because it took me 12 years to finish my, to complete the entire process. I was in undergrad for four and a half years, and then I spent seven years in, um, about six and a half, seven years in grad school. So 12 years and 212, almost $213,000 in debt. When I finally consolidated my loans, I consolidated them via the income-based, um, that it's 10% of your discretionary income that you have to pay. Because otherwise my loans would be about $1,600 a month, which is a paycheck and almost a third um, for me. So income-based, it's just under $500 a month, but I can't pay that right now. My fiance is in Pennsylvania finishing up his master's degree. Fortunately, he only has $20,000 in student loans. Um, but cumulatively, <laughs> we now have close to $250,000. Um, until he moves back in May and can help out with rent, my loans are on forbearance. So I'm accruing, well, and that sounds great. People that, and student loan companies are like, heck yes, we'll give you your forbearance. Take all the forbearance you need. You have 30 months, take it. Because they get to collect interest on my, not just the little bit, like it's not just my 45,000, the $212,000 is accruing interest at 5.875% every single month I don't pay my payments. And it just adds onto the principal every month that, that interest goes right on the principal. And so it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And I just try not to think about it. Um, and the only time I cried about my student loans was when I consolidated them and got the letter. And they told me that in 25 years, I will pay them three quarters of a million dollars um, in repayment. So I owe them $212,000, $213, and I'll pay them three quarters of a million dollars. And the kick in the teeth is that it's Sally Mae. <laughs> they just got billions of dollars or millions of dollars from the government in a bailout. And I'm going to pay them three quarters of a million dollars and live paycheck to paycheck for the foreseeable future. The foreseeable future. I wasn't prepared, and I don't think my professors knew to prepare me for the intense amount. I mean, this is a burden beyond anything I can even imagine. The intense amount of debt that I would have just to work in a field where I make nothing comparatively. I mean, my criminal justice students with their bachelor's degrees can make $55,000 a year. And here I am with a doctorate in essentially the working poor. I'm 